Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. The atmosphere here is too charged. Amen. That is the right atmosphere to operate. That is the atmosphere of faith. Are you connected? Yes. Let me just talk to you about this. Everyone has been tempted. That you are born again does not mean you cannot make mistake. People make mistake. Even if you are a Christian, you are going to make mistake. The difference between you and others, you already have a relationship with God. You should know that since you have relationship with him, you can immediately go to God about your behavior. Jesus, this is what I have done. This is what has happened to me. Please, Jesus, and he will help you get back on your feet and forgive you and help you not to make the same decision again. Can you see the difference now? Everyone has been tempted. Everyone has been what? Everyone has been tempted. You have been tempted. I have been tempted. We will continue to be challenged with issues that violate our conscience that disturb our conscience. What are those issues? <sighs> you know, the greatest war is in our heart. I don't want to smoke again. I don't want to see it. I don't want to look at it. No, no, I say I don't like this thing. We will continue to be what? To be challenged with issues that violate our conscience. It should have disturbed you as a Christian. You may be going, what you don't want to see. Ah. You know, when you look right, you see corruption. You look left, you see killing. Back, you see mismanagement and all of that everywhere. And you cannot continue to close your eyes while walking on the street. It's not possible, you have to open your eyes. Tell your neighbor, you will continue to be challenged with issues that violate your conscience. Let's turn to that page. Romans 3, verse 10. As it is written, there is no one righteous. No, not one. No one is righteous, not even one. We all face temptation to do the wrong thing. Glory be to God, there is a way. Jesus is the way. You can receive this courage through him, strength, and conviction to hold your ground. Say, no, I'm not going to do that. I reject it. No, I rebook it. You can only get this courage from who? Through who? No one can do it right. No one can say the truth. No one can say yes to the truth without Jesus. You can receive the courage, the strength, conviction to hold your ground. To say, no, this is the right thing to do. No, I'm not going to do it. You can say, yes, I can do it, if you can do it. To say that, that courage can come through Christ. No, I cannot do it, if you cannot do it. That can only come through Christ, that courage. I will help you, if you can. That kind of language can only come through Jesus. When you give your life 
to Jesus Christ and make him your boss and your CEO in all you do. How do we know that you have made Jesus CEO your boss? You can know when you begin to think differently. When change comes to your life, you will be directed by your heavenly father, not by the influence of others. Are you with me? If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. I'm born again. How do you know you are born again? We can know. You don't need to tell us. Some people will say, I'm born again. I'll say, do you need to tell me you are born again? I can read it in your life. I can read it in your future. That is hypocrisy. I'm born again. I'm born again. I give my life to Jesus over 10 years now. Continue deceiving yourself. Don't need to tell us this. Your life will read it. Tell your neighbor, read me. Read me. Say, read me. Read me. One thing we don't know. Broken things become useful in God's hand. There's no one Jesus cannot turn around. No one, no matter what you might have done, where you are coming from, tell your neighbor, broken things broken. Become, useful become useful in God's hand. In God's hand. <laughs> Don't be too forward. No matter where you are coming from, how dirty you are, how foolish you are, broken things become useful in God's hands. Your life will go smoother when you go by the book. Tell your neighbor, my life will run smoother when I go by the book. How will I know I'm born again? Is it by word of mouth? When you are born again, you think differently. You dream differently. You have a sensitivity that you never had. You have the privilege of letting your creator assist you in all you do. Look, I want to do this. I want to carry the book. If I'm born again, I want to carry this book. I can call on my creator to assist me to carry it. Because if I carry it on my own, I will fail. I want to carry the book. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to carry the book. You will join me carry it. Me and my creator. You and him are cooperating. Tell your neighbor. You and him are cooperating. I can hear you. If you people are not cooperate, you will continue to fail. If at all you get it right, when it gets to a certain level, you fall down. You and him are cooperating. That is what we call born again. Now, you have the privilege of letting the creator assist you in all you do. I want to carry this book. In Jesus' name, if I'm born again truly, I'll say, Jesus Christ, help me. I want to carry this book. If he does not want me to carry the book, he will tell me, don't carry it. I will not bother to go there. If you want me to carry it, he will join me to carry it. Then I want to carry the book. We carry it together. I will not even fear. I will not sweat. You will just see everything. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Are you really born again? Ask your neighbor, are you really born again? Your pain can prepare you for extraordinary service. If you are born again. Tell your neighbor, if you are born again, your pain can prepare you for extraordinary service. That is what we mean by born again. That does not mean born again will not have pain. There will be pain, but your pain will prepare you for extraordinary service. What I mean by pain could be sickness, could be poverty. A man may be poor and yet be a friend of God. That's not mean you cannot be poor. 
It might be the sick, and yet a friend of God. Whatever you are passing through as a born again will only prepare you for extraordinary service. The highest motive for serving God is the desire to please Him. And see, your sickness should prepare you for extraordinary service. You know what I mean by extraordinary? That is, the more that pain, the more your desire to serve God. The more that, that situation in your life, the more the desire to move closer to him and to serve him more. If you are truly born again, the more the pain, the more desire to serve him. What is happening to you today? Because why your pain as a born again is risen for you to serve him the more. Likewise, your blessing, the reason for serving him the more. Because you can go to him about your behavior. You misbehave. You run to him because you have a relationship with him. You talk anyhow. You run to him. Jesus, I've talked anyhow. If that is the case, where well, Satan will not tempt you again because he will realize that the more he tempts you, the more you go to God. There is no need of temptation. If I'm talking to you, let us see your hand. If that is the case, Satan is losing because he tempts you to overthrow you. He tempts you so that you can lose your post. But instead, the more the temptation, the more your desire to God, the more you praise him, the more you move closer to him, then Satan is loose. There's no need of temptation. You will realize that, no, my being, tempting this man is wasting my time. What he wants to achieve is to separate you from your creator. The highest motive for serving God is the desire to what? To please him. If you have not experienced God, there will be dissatisfaction. There will be what? I can hear you. Dissatisfaction. A sense of hunger to know what life is all about. A desire to know what happened after life is over. You keep asking yourself, oh, when you don't have God, you begin to ask yourself, ah, what happened after life is over? Six feet. Where am I going? Because you don't know where you are going because you don't have God. Because his protection is beyond the grave. Everyone has been tempted. But you as a Christian, the difference between you and others, you have a relationship with God. You should know that immediately you misbehave, you can go to him about your behavior. And it will help you to get back on your feet and will forgive you. And will help you not to make the same error, the same mistake again. Life continues. But others, will you be ready?
now. How do you know you are born again? You know you are born again when everything becomes different. You think differently because you are a changed person. You are not directed by the influence of others, but you are directed by the influence of the Heavenly Father. <laughs> Listen to me. You would think differently because you are a changed person. Being directed by your Heavenly Father, not by the influence of others. But today, instead of you to trust in God's authority, you trust so much in majority. This is the life we live today. You trust so much in majority. Already, it is majority that confirm your vote, who to lead, who to rule. That has been a pattern of the system of the world. But you as a Christian, you should know a personal decision. Christ is a majority. So when you become born again, you become a child of God, and you, you give your life to God, Jesus Christ, and you make him your CEO, your boss, in all you do. Everything about you look different. You think differently. When everybody is think this way, you think other way. So this is where you will have trouble with the war. You say, oh, you don't want trouble, trouble will come. How? When people think this way and you think this way, and you insist that this is the way you're on, they will say, oh, this is a foolish man. From there, you become enemy of the world. Can you see? You are not inviting this. It comes naturally. You are not inviting this, but the thing comes naturally because of your vision and your mission. Look this, but you look this because you think differently because you are born again. Dream differently. Have a sensitivity that you never had. The privilege of letting the Creator assist you. You want to talk. Uh, before you talk, He will help you to talk. You want to jump. Before you jump, He will help you to jump. You want to look. You say, Jesus, I want to look. He help you to look. This is why today you cannot compare yourself to others because creator of heaven and earth is assisting you. Are you with me? I mean the head of immaterial world is assisting you. The dividend of Banigan it's when the creator of heaven and earth begins to assist you. That is the dividend. Your dividend of democracy. <laughs> See? Oh, that is the dividend. When the creator of heaven and earth begins to assist you, you want to sleep, he will assist you. You want to wake up, he assists you. You want to talk, he assists you. You want to sleep, we assist you. You want to preach, he assists you. You want to pray, he assists you. We call it you and him are cooperating. <laughs> Tell you about I and Christ Jesus are cooperating. And immediately you are born again, you begin to pray according to his will. You dance according to his will. You look according to his will. You talk to people according to his will. You know what I mean by his will? 
when you begin to do this according to his will, me, you are under his supervision. Taking instruction from him. Then you can approach him through the name. You can have desire for him, but his own desire. If your desire is genuine, his desire will be given to you. Open your lips, ask him to act in you so that your work may be holy. Act in me, Lord. Holy Spirit, act in me so that my work may be holy. Lord Jesus, act in me so that my work may be holy. Breathe in me, O oh Holy Spirit. Breathe in me, O oh Holy Spirit. Open your list prayer. Téléspectateurs, maintenant priez, dites Saint-Esprit, agis en moi afin que mes voix, mes œuvres soient saintes. Priez. Abra sus labios y pida al Espíritu Santo que obre en usted para que su obra sea santa. Que respire en usted para que sus pensamientos sean santos. Strengthen me, Lord, so that I will defend what is holy. Prayer. Pídale que le fortalezca para defender aquello que es santo. Continue de prier, dit fortifie-moi, Seigneur, afin que je puisse défendre ce qui est saint. Abra sus labios, confesse su corazón, y pida al Espíritu Santo que le fortalezca para defender aquello que es santo. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. I want you to take this. Take it. If you need to write it, the world born again. When you are born again, you have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. Tell your neighbor again. That is fine definition for born again. Every other definition is under it. This is primary definition. Every other is secondary. If the Creator does not assist you, how will you live right? How will you maintain that you're born again? No one can live holy and holy and holy without God guide. No one can speak for him without his instinct. No one can continue to assist him, support him, live for him without him. In this world, without faith and hope, you cannot live right, you cannot defend what is right without him. Look at what the Bible says. In that book of Luke, he said, Behold, I have given you power to walk freely among snakes, to walk freely among scorpions, to walk freely among what? <laughs> People who say, If I stand there, no, 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 you don't need to stand on them. You don't need to stamp them. You don't need to match them. No, no. What the Bible is saying there, he said, To walk freely because you are among scorpions. And snake. Everywhere you turn to, when you live here to your working place, spirit of snake everywhere. They give you food, they give you money. Some people will take money from blood place, from ritual, and they will give you, you don't know, but because you are given power to walk freely among them. <laughs> that is the, what I'm talking about. That when you are born again, you have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. Me, you walk freely among the snake, you walk freely among the scorpion, you walk freely among the lion. You'll be walking among them like this, they will be looking at you and say, Ah, which kind of man is this? Which kind of man is this? They cannot touch you, they will just only looking at you. The Bible does not mean march. It means walk freely, live freely, eat freely, look freely, dance freely among them. And not each other by any means. Walk. Tell your neighbor once again. 
How do you know you are born again? You are born again when you have the privilege of letting the Creator assist you in all you do. The question now, ask your neighbor, are you truly born again? Take note, when you are born again, you will receive the courage, strength, and conviction to hold your ground. When you move like this, nothing can shake me. When you know where you are going, eh, you don't need to be fear. When you know Jesus is going with you, you don't need to be fear. Why are you afraid? You need not fear where you are going. Tell your neighbor. When you know Jesus is going with you. Open your lips. Ask him once again to strengthen your desire and your determination for him. You want him to strengthen your desire. Your desire is to do his will. Your highest motive to serve him is to please him. Father, strengthen my desire and my determination for you alone. You alone. You alone. You alone. Let my way be your way and let your way be my way. Give me the grace to cooperate with you in all I do. Give me the grace to cooperate with you. I want to cooperate with you. I want to cooperate with you. I want to submit. I want to submit. I want to submit. Prayer. Oh, my sons, every day. Today, we are in its present asking for the grace. There is a bond between you and God because it's your creator. Say, there is a bond between me and God because it's my creator. So I'm asking for this bond again. The renewal of this bond 
Open your lips, prayer. My songs every day. Parce qu'il est mon créateur, je demande à ce que ce lien soit renouvelé. Prie. La Dios que de la Dios que renueve la conexión entre usted y él. Open your lips, begin to ask for the renewal of this bond. There is a bond, there is a bond, because it's your creator. There is a bond, there is a covenant. Il y a un lien entre vous et Dieu, parce qu'il est votre créateur. Ouvrez vos lèvres et continuez de demander le renouvellement de ce lien. There is a bond between you and God, because he is your creator. Ask for renewal. Renewal. Abra sus labios y pídale a Dios que renueve la conexión entre él y usted. You want him to assist you in all you do. The grace of letting him, the privilege of letting him, the grace of letting him assist you in all you do. You ask for this. This is dividend of born again. Dividends of born again is that grace of assisting you in all what you do. You ask for this dividend. Ouvrez vos lèvres et continuez de prier. Demandez la grâce et le privilège de le laisser vous assister dans tout ce que vous faites. Priez. Abra sus labios y pédale por la gracia de asistirle en todo lo que ustedes hacen. Covenant living God. There is no one like you. Alpha and Omega. There is no one like you. Covenant-keeping God, there is no one like you. Alpha and Omega, 
the creator has been assisting you, even though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, you fear. I pray in his holy name to give you the grace, the mighty grace given to the apostle of the old. He gave the grace to Saul and he became Paul. I command that special grace in your life today in the name. Yeah. Let the will of God be done in your life. Yeah. Let his will be done in your home. Yeah. Let his will be done in your heart. Yeah. Let the will of God be done in your heart. Yeah. Say yeah. that the will of God be done in my life. Yeah. Open your lips and say, let the will of God be done in my life. In the name of Jesus, let his will be done in my life. Say, let his will alone be done. In the name of Jesus, let his will be done in all I do. The will of God in my house, in my career, in my financing, in my business, in my marital life, in my head. Let the will of God be done in Jesus' name. Right now, begin to confess whom you are now. Jesus is my Savior, my Redeemer, my Healer, my Healer, defeat and failures, artists of the past. Confess whom you are. Begin to walk in the light of your testimony. Confess whom you are. Confess who you are. El fracaso y la derrota son cosas del pasado. Ya no estoy más condenado. Estoy sano, estoy salvo, estoy redimido. Confiéselo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.